Literature Enhanced Physical Education presents Serial Soccer Produced by Lynn Heffern Serial Soccer Written by Lynn Heffley. Illustrations by Steve McGinnis. Get ready, Gloria. He's in the chair, ordered the handsome older mouse. I'm ready, Jimmy, replied his wife with the flowered apron and curly white hair. Oh, Mom, I can't wait. No, I can't, cried the overly excited young mouse. Be patient, Skipper. It's not time yet. She's just getting the box, replied the beautiful white mouse. Get out here, Trina. She's pouring, bellowed a muscular, short-tailed mouse. Oh, Dad, I'm not finished braiding my hair yet. You can go first, Trina shouted from back in her room. I'm going to get the most cereal today, squeaked Pinky, the red-haired, freckled mouse with the fast-switching nose. Oh, no, you're not. I am. Look, he's doing it, replied her twin sister, Binky. Bang! Bang, bang. There they go, cheered Naya. I'm going first. You hold the door, ordered Xander as he laced up his new high tops. She's cleaning him off. Get ready, Gloria, ordered Jimmy. They're leaving the room, Trina, shouted Dad. Go, go, yelled Binky and Naya. Naya was the first out of the hole. She quickly scurried around the toy truck and over to the high chair. She gave the fruity flavored cereal ball a kick and started it rolling forward by tapping it with the inside of her left foot and then her right. Trina was right behind her, kicking an orange ball around the baby doll and over the train tracks. She liked to use the outside of her foot as well as the inside to go around the toys. Meanwhile, Skipper was living up to his name as he skipped over the rattle and around the teddy bear with a red ball carefully controlled. He was so talented, he could use his knees and his toes to juggle the ball in the air almost all the way across the room. Pinky and James, however, were pulling up the rear because they both got delayed by a puddle of milk. James slid right on through the puddle to get to the soggy yellow ball. Pinky, on the other hand, decided to use her toes to pull the ball out of the milk. Xander trapped a pass from Naya and placed the nugget in their hole. Dad headed out with his eye on a green ball just beyond the cat's bowl. He quickly skirted around the puddle of milk, avoided the mound of dropped jelly, and was closing in fast when he skid to a stop. Cat, he yelled. Without hesitation, every mouse began an offensive attack. Binky hopped over the pacifier and kicked a ball with the inside of her foot to Pinky, who quickly dribbled it home. James hustled out into the kitchen and trapped a pass from Gloria. With the cat close behind, James sprinted to his hole and received a pass back from his wife. The cat spun on his heels and headed for mom in her yellow nugget. With the cat closing in, mom scurried around the leg of a table. She picked up her ball and threw it in over her head to Skipper. Skipper dribbled the ball toward home, but by the time he could maneuver past all the toys, the cat was positioned right in front of his hole. Skipper took a running approach at the ball. He brought his kicking leg way back, stepped next to the ball, and kicked it with all his might. Goal! The morsel rolled right between the cat's paws and into the hole. The cat was angrier than ever and headed straight for Xander. Help! Xander yelled. Naya darted across the room. Xander kicked the ball just ahead of Naya so she could keep moving forward toward the hole as she caught up to the pass. Back and forth they continued passing until the cat was dizzy from the chase. 
With one final kick, Xander launched the cereal into the air. Realizing that it was going wide of the target, Naya used her forehead to knock it straight into the hole. Finally, with perfect passing and teamwork, every mouse made it safely back to their hole. Exhausted and full, Trina turned to her dad and asked, What do you think's for dinner? I don't know, but I hope it's hamburgers, he replied.